So, driving back the 911 992. This is a 2022 model. I'll be driving it to Stuttgart. Got the key right here, just to give you a little tour. This opens the boot. It's got a front. It's got a little red lever here. I don't know if you can see it, but it needs a very trained hand to find it. Just like that. So it has about 123 litres in, 132 I think. If you get stuck in it, there's meant to be a green button here, an emergency release button in case you get stuck, but I can't seem to find it. Um, then you have to pre press it again to close the boot properly. Have a look at this, when I lock the car, the door handles go in. I think that's kind of cool. And then if I was to open it, the door handles open. Sweet, huh? I'll show you the engine. That's just here, in the back. It's 911. So, oops. That is it. Seriously, that's all the engine there is. It's just got two fans, here and here. And that's the oil. You can't see anything else. And it says there, three litre, right there. Close it. Nice and plasticky. Have a look at that. Red neon bar going across the back. Very neat. And I love these wheels. And what's cool is it projects the Porsche right on the floor. It does that on the passenger side as well. And it's also got a nice little bottle holder or cup holder right there. And this is what's known as the Python green Porsche. So without further ado, I'm gonna start this baby up. And it's right here, you turn it to the right. So I will keep the key right here. And there's this button here to start the sports exhaust. Makes it nice and loud to wake up the neighbors if that's your plan. On on here, you have got your, um, able to turn what kind of mode you want to drive, sport, sport plus. That enables you to do launch control, individual, wet, normal. I'll put it on normal. And then there's this button here. That is like for shortcut settings. Um, that's for traction control and that's for the type of suspension you want, normal or the sport. I'll keep it on normal. This is the reverse park, uh, sorry, the reverse neutral and drive. And to go um, forwards, you need to pull it backwards to go drive. And if you want to go reverse, you need to push it forwards. Uh, when you click the car button, you have the spoiler extended and that lifts up the spoiler at the back as it's demonstrating for you right now. And this is the start stop button just right there. So I'll just show you what it looks like. Okay. And with this car, you can't just fill it up with normal cheap petrol. You need to use the 98 petrol um, because it's a sports car and you want to get the maximum power. So I'm pulling it back. We're now going to drive this baby. So here he is. So as you can see, it shows the speedometer quite nice and easily there in the middle. But what's a little bit bad about this car is you can't see the gauges on the right so much, like the fuel and the gauges on the left. Like you really have to turn your head. So just put my foot down a bit. Pretty sweet, huh? It's also got a sunroof right here. Buttons are located just there. You can see it's now opening. Make a quick left turn here. I've got the sports suspension on, so I'll turn that off because I like it nice and comfortable. And yeah, so that was basically the tour of it, guys. I'll show you later the Autobahn because that's really what you want to see, not me waffling on about nonsense. So catch you later, guys. Bye.